So I've got some uh, doors I'm trying to custom make, and what I did is uh, I'm doing a closet door, and uh, I took some, some bifolding doors, which were about the right height for the custom door that I was doing. And as you can see here, I trimmed off, measured the size, it's pretty much even there and there. So I cut that off, my skill saw there, and then what you do to fill in this gap here, fill in that gap there, is you can take this piece here and uh, take the board off each side and slip that back in the notch. One thing to notice about, I'm kind of flipping the camera around here. Let me get around here again. One thing to know about this is that if you, sorry, I kind of made the mistake here that I got it going here, separated it out with a putty knife and a hammer, and then I started going down like this. And see it kind of tore into there. And I'll go back and fix that with a chisel. But uh, what I found, you can see more in here that if you take your putty knife here and you come in like this in these areas here so I'll get up to the next spot here that I haven't cut get up to this spot in here and then take your chisel I'm gonna have to just show it a little bit before I do it because I don't have anything else to hold the camera but so get that in the groove in there Get it work down in there, tap this, that will push that down in here straight, and work it down, and then that'll work it all the way down there, and it pulls it off evenly, and then you can take this board down the middle, you can stick it back, glue it back in there in the channel, and uh, then of course here is where the knob was, that's where the doorknob will go, and uh, there, you got a customized door out of a hollow panel door like that and uh anyway just thought uh, somebody that might help somebody out there i've known a couple people that are wondering how to make custom doors from existing doors where you can just cut down the size a little bit like that and like how do you rebuild that and um i'd done this earlier and i just wanted to show people how to do that you just fit that in the in the groove there um this piece here comes out the edge a little bit there and so this that there came up there, so I'm going to have to cut off the end so that it will fit in that groove. But that will fit from there all the way down there. And then this area over here, I believe, is already reinforced for the handle. And so that will be reinforced. If not, I could reinforce it, stick another piece of board in there, reinforce it for the doorknob, and build that out. So anyway, just thought that might be helpful to somebody. So, so when I clean this up here, where it was tapered off. Um, by the way, don't get one of those. I didn't even try that. I think I mentioned that earlier to use a chisel. But when you're cleaning this up, just get a handy hand lathe there. And you just kind of, you know, really easily run along there, clean it up. Everything's really smooth. This is where I tried earlier to kind of cut it in there with a the putty knife. But anyway, that can fill in with a knife. And then where the glue edge is along here, along there, I just kind of ran along there. So quick easy way to clean that up really nice and even there I've got the entire piece off coming down here this is the board so taking this entire piece off now I'm gonna come back up take this block off and take that piece off and of course like I said it'll fit in there in the in the side here so just another good tip so just so you believe that if this is possible I have uh, separated all the sides out trimmed off a little bit measured that Put it in the groove there and uh, got a little putty knife there to help snug it in and we'll push that in there. I'll get some glue put along the edge there on both sides and we will uh, I can lift it up for any screwdrivers or things in there to kind of get the glue in there but uh, anyway maybe this will be a better view um, I know I'm kind of should be holding it that way but there is Another view there, but you slide that joint right in there and glue it, let it dry, and then you can just cut your door handle knob and some uh, some slots there for your, your hinges and custom made door. Anyway, cool.